Well, hello all my friends. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my latest make, which includes my 15th wedding anniversary dress that I made using this McCall's pattern. Stick around and I'll tell you all about it and give you all the details and my experience sewing the pattern. everyone welcome back to the channel if you're tuning in for the first time welcome my name is T and this is my channel Crumpus and Sewing I also go by that handle over on Instagram make sure you check the link in the description box below to my Instagram account and you could go over and check me out all right so my anniversary dress this was oh man this was a such a long time coming. I used a very easy pattern. So this is the McCall's pattern. This is the McCall's M7991. This is a pattern that I did a review of before. It's a very simple, easy pattern. It comes in sizes small to extra large. It has a two different variations. Actually, it has three variations. So it's um, a faux wrap dress you have the option of doing a circle skirt and also just a regular close fitting uh skirt and the close fitting skirt uh it comes about about an inch or two above the knee. However, the first time I made this, and I'll pop a picture here so you can see what that looks like. I made it out of it out of a uh, jersey fabric that I purchased from Hobby Lobby, and this was about almost two years ago. I do have a tutorial, not a tutorial. Sorry, I do have a review of this particular um, make here and the pattern on the channel if I can find it I'll make sure that I put it in the description box below or in this video so you can go over and check out that review the reason why I'm doing another review of this is because uh, the this first make I made um, view C which is this view right here which is with the dolman sleeves uh, very long dolman sleeves that have uh, a cuff also a front band and they are really two separate patterns because although views A and B have that faux wrap, it does not have views um, A and C does not have the dolman sleeves. And so you do have the option of having uh, with view A, there's no sleeves and then view B, there are long inset sleeves. You're insetting the sleeves and so they're totally separate patterns and so for the front bodice section you have a separate piece for views a and b then you have for view c and so that's why i'm doing a completely separate review because the experience was a little bit different since um one consists of doma sleeves and the other is inset sleeves so um i'll go ahead and tell you a little bit about the pattern then i'll tell you about the sizes that i chose and then also my experience sewing this particular uh, version of the pattern. So this is a McCall's Learn to Sew pattern. So it's very easy for uh, beginners. And both patterns, the one with the doma sleeve as well as the one with the inset sleeve, I would totally agree. They are both really easy for beginners. Uh, they have uh, the Learn to Sew options with knits here. And so the knits that you're going to be using are um, knits that have at least 35% uh, stretch on the cross grain and they are moderate knits such as cotton knits, interlock, rib knits, sweater knits, and those types of fabrics. Now you will notice that in my photos you'll see that this fabric uh, that I have used with this current project is um, of a stretch velvet material. It is a stretch velvet um, polyester that I purchased from Joanne Fabrics like <laughs> almost two years ago and I have been sitting on this fabric and I was supposed to make something for my anniversary for my 13th wedding anniversary with it I did not for my 14th anniversary it came around and then I said okay I'm gonna save this for my 15th anniversary it's very special <laughs> it looks it's a beautiful fabric and so I said you know that 15th year mark is a, a milestone so I will save it for that so I was finally able to use this fabric. Like I said, I had it for two years. So 
I doubt that Joann's have this anymore. Um, but it's, it, it does not um, have this fabric that I chose to use. It doesn't have it as a recommendation on the back of this, but if you have a fabric that is at least 35% stretch on the cross grain and it is a moderate stretch knit, I would say go for it. Uh, this uh, this particular pattern is very generous, especially for uh, ease. So go for it. It will probably be okay. So the sizes small to extra large, that basically is uh, sizes 8 to 22. Um, it does not have, okay, yeah. So uh, sizes 8 to 22, and I'm just going to read you off the body measurements. These are not the finished measurements, but I will include the size that I selected for this particular project with its finished measurements in the video here as well. But the body measurements for a size small to extra large, you're looking at about uh, 31 and a half to 32 and a half inches for the bust. That's for your small and it goes up to a 42 to 44 inches for the bust for the extra large. For the waist, you're looking at 24 to 25 inches for the small, and it goes up to a 34 to a 37 for the extra large for the waist. For the hips, you're looking at a 33 and a half to 34 and a half inches for the small, and it goes up to a 44 to 40, 46 and a half, uh, half inches for the extra large. So keep in mind, like I said, these are body measurements. So you uh, want to make sure that you look at the tissue paper that is inside of the envelope and it'll tell you the finished measurements with ease and what you're looking to expect for your finished garment. So um, this pattern, what I also like about this pattern, it also has this learn to sew, um, learn how to attach a neckband. And so that's for both actually for all views for a b and c you uh can put the neckband on the front of the of the full wrap and it's really easy to do um because the full wrap is uh it basically overlaps on itself so the right side overlaps um, on the left side of the garment in the front um, the way in which you're going to be putting the neckband on you just sew that neckband on before you overlap the two um, pieces together so it's very simple and very very easy it's an easy construction you also have the option with this particular pattern to um, put a casing in so it is you're not actually uh putting the casing in like you're you're not creating um anything out of bias binding or anything like that to put the to do a casing basically you're just um creating a seam when you sew your bodice to your skirt and then after you sew the bodice to the skirt you're going to create another stitching line i believe it's like a half an inch or so so away from that first stitching line so that you can create a casing and then there's the option of putting elastic inside of that casing for my particular garment for both the very first one that i made with the animal print uh jersey fabric and with the um this anniversary dress i omitted the elastic portion of it and it's completely optional because there's not enough there's not a lot of fabric in the waist where you have to actually gather the fabric in order for it to um, sit on your waist uh, you will be just fine without the elastic the elastic is more for support so um, I decided to just go ahead and omit the elastic band this uh, pattern, um, like I said, is for beginners and you only have the one size. So that's the only downsize to this particular pattern. Um, this is the only envelope that you have, the small to the extra large. That's where they um, have stopped the sizing for this particular pattern. It only goes up to an extra large. So that's the only thing that I don't really like about the pattern. Uh, for this particular dress, for the anniversary dress, 
I selected a size medium for the waist and a large for the arms. So I graded between the large and the medium because I needed the extra room for my upper uh, body. Now for the faux wrap um, dress that I made, I did not have to have the extra room because the dolman sleeves are very loose fitting and very baggy um, and it has a lot of room in in that area I actually had to go down um, a size in that area for the arms because it was just too baggy now the opposite happened with the set in sleeve which is very normal for me I had to go up a size and in fact even when I went up a size and I uh, did a bicep a full bicep adjustment it still just was not enough the finish measurements for the um, for the fullest part of the bicep for a large and an extra large was around uh, 13 and 13 and a half or something like that. That just was not enough for my biceps. I measure at a, at a 15 and even though this, um, this pattern is designed for negative ease, it just was not working for me. <laughs> it just wasn't working at all. And so I decided to make um, very wide bell sleeves, um, almost kind of like a flutter sleeve, but not quite. So it's more of a bell sleeve. And, um, and I hacked the pattern and I decided to just uh, do the slash uh, method and I opened up the pattern so that I can actually have a fuller sleeve and so it's not um, just a regular straight sleeve as you see here um, demonstrated for view B but um, I really like the the look of it anyway because I actually looked at a few Pinterest boards and ideas of some of the people that I follow and I also did a search for velvet stretch velvet faux wrap dresses and I came up with a few um, styles that I really loved and I really wanted to mimic for my anniversary dress and I'll show you some of those pictures here so you can see what they look like and I I wanted to kind of mimic these dresses and go for those types of styles anyway and so it kind of played into my favor even though um, the sleeve just did not fit so that's the downside I would say if you are curvy a curvy or a plus size woman like myself and you usually have issues trying to get a proper uh, fit for your sleeves because um, commercial patterns just aren't designed um, in a way that will accommodate that um, your your arms. I would definitely say um, don't shy away from it. However, just be cautious of that. That you might when you go into the project, you may need to do a bicep adjustment if your arms are the circumference of your arms are larger than 13 and a half inches, which mines are. So um, that's the only thing that I would say um, to make sure that you watch out for. Now, in terms of the actual finish measurements, again, I'll let I'll put those here in the video so I so that you can see uh, what my finished measurements um, were. S but I don't remember them offhand. Uh, but I will go ahead and look at the tissue paper and let you know what those finished measurements are so you can get an idea of what that fits like, um, what the what those measurements look like on my, my body. Now, the pictures. Oh, I want to give you a little story about um, me and my husband and our anniversary date and everything like that. So we, um, this year, because, you know, with COVID and everything like that, very, very restricted on areas in which we can go. And to be honest with you, we don't really like going out anyway. We are really practicing social distancing. Um, however, we also uh, knew that we wanted to celebrate this year. It was a big year for us. It was a milestone and we just are so excited that we have made it to this point in our marriage and we just wanted to celebrate that. We wanted to celebrate us. And so we decided to go to this little Italian restaurant uh, where we live. It's about 30 miles from where we live and it's called Bella Italia. Very nice restaurant. Um, 
and they practice social distancing and uh, you have to make reservations anyway. So even before COVID, you have to make reservations and they also have a, a limited amount of people that they let into the restaurant at a given time and they everything was just very spaced out and so my husband and I were one of four couples that were on the floor and it was very very spaced out so we were really excited about that but after we uh, dined and we did our little date and everything we decided to go ahead and go outside the restaurant and to take pictures and the landscape the building um, the architecture of the building is just so beautiful and I just decided hey let's just go ahead and do our photos here and we decided to go ahead and do that and so it's just such a beautiful scenery really nice and then up the the road from where we ate there's like a business industrial park and they also had some very beautiful landscape and so we stopped and we took more pictures near this industrial park. And so uh, the pictures, um, the sky, the, the greenery, everything was just so perfect. And we were just so happy with everything, with how everything turned out. I'm very pleased with how the dress turned out. I really love it. Um, I did not expect um, to get a really nice, elegant dress out of something that is so basic and so um, just simple. But I'm just so glad that I used this pattern. Um, I didn't really have this in mind when I purchased uh, that fabric. I actually had a different pattern in, in mind and it was a Vogue pattern and I'll go ahead and show you what that looks like. But I didn't have enough fabric for this and then also that... Um, particular gown uh, had ruching I believe on the side and also all kinds of other things that I just did not really want in a gown I just wanted something very simple because of the uh, the design that was inside of my gown I just wanted something very simple because you see those little diamond shape um, or boxes on the on the gown and so I didn't really want to have ruching and all that stuff to to distract you know to have just too many different elements at one time going on so I just wanted something very simple very basic because the gown itself the fabric itself is just a statement itself so so anyway I wanted something basic and this was basically the only pattern that I believe that I had in my stash that was similar now the only thing that I don't really like about the way that this gown turned out is um if you see the band the band for this particular uh dress i think i'm going to go back and i'm going to remove that band so again um as you can see here the um the pattern comes with a band and i think i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to remove that band because it looks almost like a robe in some ways <laughs> it looks like a dressy robe with that band on it so i think i'm going to remove the band and just have it without the band or either tuck that band in and let the band act as a facing and just kind of tack that in place. So I think that's what I'm going to do because um, it does look a little bit like a robe, especially with the big wide flutter sleeves. So um, that's the only thing I don't like about the about the gown but everything else I really love now the other thing that I like and if you've been following me for a while you already know that this is something that is a blessing to me so the fabric is like I said a 100% polyester it's a velvet stretch velvet fabric um, and it is um, it does not fray and so because of that uh, I did not have to hem the bottom of the dress and I did not hem the sleeves either. Now I should and I might go back and do that, but I did not. And so I was able to save time on that. Now this particular gown is fully lined because the fabric is see-through. It's a little bit see-through. I You can't wear anything under it uh, without it being noticeable so like if you just have your uh, undergarment so if you just have your bra and your panties on you're going to see it and so I had to line it and I lined it with a navy blue uh, 
scratch uh, tricot fabric from Joann's. It, it wasn't anything special. Um, so I just wanted that darker backing so that way um, it wouldn't show anything. Now I did make an alteration to the, the skirt as well. As you can see, there is no long skirt option. This particular uh, skirt for views B and C are uh, really, sh it's really short. And like I said, it hits above the knee. And so I had to alter it. And so the lining, I kept at that length. But for the dress, for the outer skirt, I decided to lengthen it. And I lengthened it by 15 inches. So, um, and I really liked that length. I wanted it to hit the floor. I didn't want it to drag on the floor, but I wanted it to hit the floor just barely. Um, and you can see in some of the photos, you can see my, my shoes just a little bit. Uh, so it's just barely hitting down um, um, at, the, at the ground. I think I'm going to take off an inch though, um, just so that it's not, like I said, dragging. I don't want it to drag, but I do want it to be really nice and long as a gown. Um, but all in all, I really love the way that this turned out. I'm so excited with how this turned out. And um, I don't think I'll get a lot of wear out of it. <laughs> but I am excited with the with the make and I'm excited that I was able to dine with my husband and have something real nice and fancy and to be able to do that. So anyway, that is my review of the McCall's M7991 for view um, B and I had fun making it. It's a really simple and easy make. Uh, it doesn't require much skill at all. Um, you know, just needle thread um, and your basic uh, sewing techniques and like I said it has the option where you can do it says learn to create a floating casing however you really don't have to put that casing in there um, it can just you can just go ahead and sew your seam and press your seams open and just keep going um, and that's about it so I have made all versions of this except for um, the one with the circle skirt and I think I'm going to do that one next and I will let you all know if I make that one um, if I like the circle skirt pattern in this but everything else is really great and like I said I will leave in the description box below the link to the very first review and you could go over and check out how um, I'm you can go out over and check out the review for how I made the the animal print version of it so yeah i'm really excited about this and i hope that you enjoyed this video if you did please make sure you give it a big thumbs up if you haven't done so already make sure that you subscribe to the channel and also don't forget to hit the notification bell so you receive notifications of all my videos when i post them all right everyone until next time stay creative bye